Hello, I'm Mziba and I want to talk about a topical issue that have been has been affecting our black community or black women and that's hair loss. Now, um, I'm not going to delve into the causes of such, I'm just going to mention them, but I want to feature one plant that assists in helping to restore our beautiful trees. So before we explore this one plant, let's get into the causes. Alright, so one, pulling the hair back too tight, which causes traction alopecia, stress, postpartum shedding, and of course, contraception. Yes, contraception does affect us and it can cause hair loss. Now, when the hair loss is hormonal, it tends to take a while for the hair to be restored and so in terms of dealing with hormonal hair loss then we need to do a lot of things internally and one of the plants that we can use to help to restore hair it might not come back entirely but it will help to improve the quality of our scalp and by extension our hair this plant drum roll is the aloe vera plant right so i just want to show you how i grow my aloe vera just to give you a tip or give you some tips of how you can actually grow your aloe vera plant in a pot so that you control the environment of the plant now my plant here it's a relatively small pot but what it does it's the aloe vera can really spread so um, I want to keep it in a small pot or a pot that I think I can manage Right and so with this I'm able to put in my peelings from my kitchen To add nutrients to it. I control the amount of water that I want it to get and so that my plants the leaves are fat and chunky and full of nutrients Right, so this is just one of the ways if you have a bigger space you can plant your aloe vera in the ground but when you do it like this you're just able to control the environment so that you're getting the best results and the best um the best results from this all right so basically the aloe it doesn't take a long time to grow so you won't have to worry about um the length of time it will take to grow you get the sucker you plant the sucker you feed it with the right nutrients it doesn't need a lot of water so you control the amount of water that you are putting you maybe can water it every other day and that way it will thrive so you don't add too much water to it because it also needs some sunlight it also needs sunlight to grow as you see i have it here it, it's getting the evening sun right so all of that nutrients vitamin d i know it's jam-packed with minerals and the other nutrients that it needs to put all that in my body so this is a very short video as i said i just really wanted to share one of the plants that can actually help to improve the quality of your scalp and to help you recover from hair loss Thank you for viewing. I will be posting more videos. So stay tuned. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.